Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to a very special episode. Tonight we are pouring for our This Little Piggy Valentine's Day collaboration, which I'm so excited to be a part of. This is going to be a lot of fun. A whole bunch of amazing artists using This Little Piggy pigments in a bunch of different ways. And the coolest thing is these pieces are then going to be auctioned off and the proceeds are going to be going to Piggy Sanctuaries. Did I tell you about that, HOA? That's actually fun. <laughs> to help piggies in need. So I hope you will please check out the link in the description box to register for the auction. The auction will start right after all the premieres are done. We are doing back-to-back -back premieres today, February 12th, 2023. Um, there will be a playlist in the description box as well, so please make sure you check that out and you can watch all the videos one right after another. It should be a lot of fun and I'm really excited to be a part of this. So thank you so much to this little piggy and Fluid Art Co. for including me. I really appreciate it and I love you guys like crazy. Let's get started. First, I wanted to start off by showing you the dried results of our last pour. This was beautiful nostalgia. And it was kind of a, a straight pour and a ribbon pour combined with some really beautiful piggy colors in there. I used Violet Rain, which is this darker purple color, which this was a little controversial because I, when I had mixed it up in the cup, it did not look like this. It looks kind of grayish. And I was a little worried, but it absolutely is this beautiful darker purple that's in here, the Violet Rain. And we also used Brulee, which is in here which is so funny, do you remember? This looked white, HOA, do you remember this part? Uh -huh. Where I was in love with this blue with the feathering on there. And of course, a whole bunch of other, and we also used the Deja Vu, which is that bright pink one, which gives us these pops of color. So I'm really, really happy with the way that this turned out. Super blingy and shimmery. And just, I haven't resined it or varnished it or anything. This is just the Liquitex Gloss Medium. Floetrol and the piggies were dispersed in a tiny bit of isopropyl alcohol from my tipsy piggy recipe and uh, Absolutely came out beautiful. So I'm very very pleased with that one We're gonna put this aside and I'm going to show you what we're working on tonight So tonight for Valentine's Day. We are pouring on this beautiful 16 inch MDF wood heart Very very cool. It's got this little pretty cutout of another little heart inside of it, which is so cute and I have painted this with one of my colors already, my Golden's Quinacridone Violet, because it is wood. We want to sort of seal it, and as you can see, the wood does sort of soak up the first layer of the paint. So that's why we do this, to make sure that our pour actually stays where we want it to and doesn't get sucked into the wood. So I'm very, very excited about this. I have some amazing colors, and I have a plan, and I hope it works. So <laughs> I have taped the back of this, but that's our wood heart that was from Fluid Art Co. Very, very exciting. And these are the ones that are gonna be auctioned off and the proceeds going to the Piggy Sanctuary. So the first color that we are using, I'm doing sort of a two-step process here. So this first one is Golden's Permanent Violet Dark, which is beautiful, amazing, luscious color. One of my absolute favorites. I like this one a lot. So that's Permanent Violet Dark from Golden. I also have Prussian Blue from Golden. Just gorgeous stuff. Nice and deep, rich, just gorgeous pigment. Love that color. And then I have one more from Golden, which is the Quinacridone Violet, which is the same color that the heart is painted. So it looks a little pink here, but it does actually get much deeper red as it dries. So I have those three. And then I have my Amsterdam Titanium White. And I have Decorate Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. So with those five colors, I'm going to do a straight pour on that and tilt it out and get some beautiful cells. And then with these three beautiful colors, I'm going to do a wildflower pour on top of that and hopefully get some of those beautiful petals shapes coming up on the, onto the heart. The first one that we're using is Sangria, which is just gorgeous. It's so pretty. The bottom. I'm trying to hold it still because last time I was like, <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, this is Sangria from this little piggy, and again, just like that violet rain, it's going to turn this color when it's dry, but it's not that far off right now. The pouring medium tonight is interesting. The pouring medium is something I borrowed from my friend Erica Hughes when we were doing Fluid Art Boutique together and we did a collaboration. The pouring medium she used that I borrowed was Golden's Gel Gloss with Floetrol. So that's what this is all tonight. That's what the sangria is mixed with. 
This next one is Venus, which I figured we had to use her for Valentine's Day, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is Venus. Just beautiful color. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. And I like the contrast between these two. I like the, how they play next to each other. It's really pretty. And then I'm using one last piggy. This one is Comet, which is one of my favorite ones. I'll show you that one now. And this is an iridescent with a color shift on it. Kind of a, a pinky violet color shift with some gold in there. Really pretty. Can you see that, HOA? Mm-hmm. Cool. cool stuff. So that's the game plan. But I'm hoping that these three more like this on top of this darker um, straight pour is going to look really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to move these three out of the way for now. And let's layer our cup. Okay, so I'm going to do a straight pour on here, probably from up high because I want it to make a lot of cells. I want it to be pretty. Or do you think we should do a flip? No, we'll do a straight. Okay. So, I'm going to start with a little bit of gold in the bottom of the cup. Not a lot at all. And the same thing with white. I don't want a ton of it in there, but I do want some in there. I'm going to put some of that beautiful quinacridone violet on top next. And then we're going to go back to the white. And the gold. That beautiful Prussian blue. And go back to the white and gold. And then we're going to come in with my favorite permanent violet dark. And go back to the white. I'm gonna do one more layer in there. Okay, so we're gonna start with the permanent vi or the macrodone violet. That's so pretty already. I love that. A little bit of white, a little bit of gold, and then fresh and blue. But, but, but there's almost another inch of cup left. <laughs> yeah. What? Who are you? Why are you done with my wife? <laughs> You're very funny. You should try a career in stand-up, darling. I'm telling you. <laughs> no respect at all. Okay. All right. Um, I actually don't think I want to use my spinner because I don't want to get it super dirty, but I am going to use these awesome little paint stands from Tracy Reed, which are so cool. I haven't used them before, but I'm very excited about them. But it's two pieces, one giant screw and one piece that it screws into, so you can adjust the height. So I'm going to put these down on the table. So I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to put one there and one there. One there and one there. Ha! There we go. Okay, that's awesome. Moment of truth. Stop stalling me now. <laughs> okay. Um, I was a little concerned about this heart, the cutout in there, but it is what it is. And I debated keeping it taped on the back. I debated cutting out the tape. And I finally decided to cut out the tape so that paint can just go through there. Because I don't want anything pooling in there and having to take it out later would just be a nightmare. So, let's pour this beautiful cup. We're going to just do a straight pour from up high. And I think I'm going to kind of go like more over here rather than in the middle. Because I don't want to lose a whole bunch off of that side. So, we're going to go about here. 
Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. And to answer your earlier query, this is already too much paint for this size canvas, but... <laughs> okay, here we go. And I'm gonna go move this way because it's already going that way into the hole. But we're gonna pour the rest of our cup and then we're gonna tilt this up. And I'm gonna kind of do a little swirl in there. Okay, now let's tilt this before all of our paint runs off. We're gonna go that way, and come down, and we're gonna go across there, and off. I'm gonna get rid of that little bit or two. Okay. Go back this way and go over that edge. Now we're going to let it run down and cover the bottom. That's pretty. I'm so used to tilting the canvases with pins in them, it's like weird. Okay. That looks pretty cool. What do you think, HOA? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. We get all the edges and sides covered. How does it look over on that side? Pretty good, pretty kosher. All right, we're gonna give this a torch, and then we're gonna layer our cup with our wildflower. And actually, I kinda wanted to do it from here going this way, and since these lines are moving this way, I think that's actually gonna be pretty neat. But this is beautiful already. I was a little concerned about putting the white and the gold in between each layer, but I'm really glad that I did because it's giving us this beautiful stripes, and it's softening up some of those colors a little bit, so that's good. Let's torch. Move that over. <laughs> Can you see over here okay? Uh huh. Okay. All right, so we have a five chamber split cup that's 10 ounce split cup. I don't need to fill it up all the way because I don't need a lot of paint. I literally just want a little bit going on the edges over here. So, and I'm also going to use some of my gold in this as well. So, what I think I want to do, I want to put the comet on the both sides and in the center chamber and then I'm going to use these two smaller chambers for the Athena and the Sangria. So let's go ahead and do that. Do you think I should layer it with the gold like I did before? Or just let it be Comet by itself? Uh, I'll layer the middle one with the gold. I was going to say that. Layer the middle one with the gold. You're so smart, my love. <laughs> okay. So there's one side. Let's do this other edge. Also. And then let's put a little bit in the center chamber too. So this is mostly going to be really pale, and that's what I wanted against those darker colors. I didn't want this wildflower part to be really dark also, in case that was really dark. 
And now we're going to use that beautiful Venus. do is kind of do it off here and then have some of the petals going this way. So this is actually, most of this will probably be off the canvas. Maybe I should move it over just a little bit, you think? Alright, so we're going to start <laughs> here off the canvas so that we just get the tips of the, the wildflower petals. Just the tips? <sighs> I asked for that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, this is getting really pretty. Can you see it, Joy? Mm -hmm. I like it. Very cool. Okay. All right. Here we go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Eyelash. Okay, so I'm going to start here and we're going to kind of go fast. Are you ready? Here we yep. go. Yep. Okay. I need one more there, yeah? Mm. Okay. Okay. That's cool. I like that. That's all I want to do on that. I don't want to do any more. I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see it. And I'm not going to tilt that because... <laughs> Two of brother. <laughs> okay. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna clean that mess up first before I show you guys the final result. Let's put that there for the moment. I'll scrape the table off. Use the cup for the comment. extender for another pour. Or pull out a little tiny canvas and do a little bonus one. for something else probably after we're done shooting. But this is looking really, really pretty and I'm very happy with it. I love the way this is all moving through here. I love the little cells that are popping up. I like the petals. I like the number of them. There's one thing I'm not crazy about that I'm gonna fix right now is right here where this, what do you think? Is it, should I leave that little drop by itself? Or yeah, should I? yeah, no, no, okay. that's good. So just leave it alone. All right, let's give it one more torch. Thank you guys so much for being here with us tonight. Please check out all the other people who are pouring in the collab for you. I will show you this one when it's dry and uh, please be sure to check out the playlist in our description box and that'll take you from one video right to the next without you having to do anything. So this was fun. I hope you guys will check out the auction please and uh, help buy some beautiful art to help some wonderful piggies. So thank you again this little piggy and fluid art company. We love you guys. We'll be right back.
also want to encourage you guys to please check out our website at fluidartboutique.com. We are teaching classes in Santa Fe, New Mexico, April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd of 2023. I'm so excited to be there with my sisters Karen Dershin and Sarah Mack and Amanda Edwards from Crystal Coast Originals and Johnny Morrison from JMO Painting. We're going to have a wonderful time. A lot of different amazing classes are being offered, so please do check out our website. That'll give you all the information you need about hotels and uh, options around the area and airports and all that sort of stuff. So fluidartboutique.com. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Okay, so we have our dried heart here, and I have my resin mixed up. This is a resin that I have stirred for three minutes, and we're going to apply it to our heart and rub it on there now. And get a nice even coating on there, making sure it goes over our sides and edges. flower part and it's going to be really pretty. So that's that. Looking pretty good. And just scrape underneath the bottom edge to get rid of any drips. Okay, so I'll probably be come back in a few more minutes and torch it one more time, but I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us. We'll show you the dried result. Okay, here we are in the sun with the dried piece with the resin. It looks so pretty. I'm so excited about this. My daughter is here holding it up for us. Hello. <laughs> this turned out so pretty with the comet in there blinging and shimmering. Can you see all this? Stop moving for a sec. Ooh, right there. Look at all that. I hope you guys can see that gold blinging because it's just so pretty. I love it. Can you hold it straight up, honey? There you go. Perfect. So this is our wild of heart pour for this little piggy TLP Valentine's Day piggy love celebration with an auction at the end to go help piggy sanctuaries all over the place. Really, really cool. I hope you guys will bid on all the hearts that are available. There's amazing artwork up there for sale. So please do go check it out. Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. Hope you enjoyed this one. Have a happy, happy Valentine's Day and a wonderful weekend. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.